What up, pimps? Snubty Poos A12 again. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a kind of unboxing and review thing. Uh, I'll be doing it on a diecast vehicle. Another one. Oh, Laysai. Nobody cares. This will get like 56 views or something. And nobody will. And everyone will forget about it and just ask for Ryan's Railway. I do this every video, don't I? I always talk. I, I always go off track of the main topic and always talk about. I always keep doing a bloody series update. So I could be talking about sad, being a sad ass and talk about politics, and then I suddenly talk about Ryan is rowing and how that's going. Well, I'm going to stop doing that because it's stupid and it's not related to the video. But anyways, I'll go back on my word right now and just say uh, Ryan and his rowing will be coming out. Well, next episode, Wolf the Rocket, written by Vance. You'll probably see it in the server. Uh, that will be filmed at the end of January because I'm taking the most of the month off because I need to stop overworking myself. I might go back on my word, just do it anyway, but oh, whatever. Anyways, uh, what are we reviewing? Well, not exactly this variant because I've already probably done a review of this and this is already out of the box. It's a nice roller. Uh, I've modded the backlights because they were all inaccurate and they were just all red. They were... Oh, I'm already getting to the view before I actually get to the product. But yeah, that's my green Mini Cooper. For Christmas I got a red one. And this is really late. I was actually planning to just keep this in box. And just that's it. But nah, I, I need to actually do a proper comparison. So, uh... I'll put my camera over here so you can actually see the full box. So uh, this is the Burrigo? Burrigo? Bur we'll go for that then. Uh, 132 scale Morris Mini. Well, Mini Cooper it says on there, but you know, I'd, I'd rather say Morris Mini or Morris Minor Mini or any of the names of Mini Cooper. Where the hell did the Cooper name come from anyway? I don't understand. Anyways, this is the whole box. It just comes in its plastic clear case with the cardboard... Uh, Lab well, not labelling, but the sleeve, I think you could say. It's not really a sleeve, because it doesn't really go over the whole thing, but that's okay. It it's, ni it's nice packaging, because you can actually see around the whole model, except that underneath it, but there's not really nothing under there. So under here, we've got... For every model they've done, they've just re... It it's just... There's no difference. They don't do individual sleeves for... um. For a uh, blah, 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 blah. they don't do like individual sleeves for different cars, so they've got all the names there, like DC, no DS even, Citron. Uh, I never know how to pronounce that one. La R Romeo, Ford, Volkswagen, and Renault. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and is that BMW? That's weird. Oh, I'm so stupid. It's Alpha Omeo. That's it. I can't pronounce car names. But yeah, uh, as you can see, from Langley's and Norwich. Well, actually, on, under here is a import sticker. I got my green one. Well, my mum got my green one from uh, Hawkins Bazaar in Chapelfield. So this one came from Langley's. But yeah, um, let's get out the... The sleeve and the case. Uh, this was eleven ninety nine at Langley's. Pretty much twelve pound. I don't understand the ninety nine thing. What's the point of that? Just put like are you gonna put it to the full price, or we're we just gonna have one p off. I never understood that. I must be just stupid or something, but whatever. So there's a sleeve off. I'll be hoarding that like I do with my packaging. Uh, box looks the same. I'll take that sticker off actually because it's already on the sleeve. And I've ruined the case. I'm going to have to scrape this off. Oh, that's alright. No one's going to look at that side anyway. I don't think. Uh, so yeah, this case is more shiny, of course, because mine... It's been scratched around a few times because I've taken it to school with my minis collection to show off. My friends at school. 
uh, my original base, I've blue tech the screws on. So if I wanted to put the mini back on, then yeah. So yeah, that means on the bottom it's always screwed on, but you can take it off to. I wouldn't really say play with it because it's a model car, and you wouldn't really want to play with a model car like smashing around at a window sill, <laughs> window sill, or a thing. I don't know door. Because then the bumper will break off and your wing mirrors will fall off and you've chipped paint, your headlights fall off and stuff like that. But yeah, let's take it out of the case. And I could actually unscrew it this time. I'm an idiot. I never really know how to do this problem about smashing the thing and getting fingerprints all over it. Because the green one's already got fingerprints all over it right now. This one hasn't. It's nice and fresh and I'm going to get it all dirty. Oh well. Let's get my screwdriver set and then I'm gonna hold on to the mini. Or actually I could put it upside down and damage the roof work. How about if I do it over here and you can see the whole thing? So yeah, how's your New Year's been going, people? Alright? That's good. I hope you all did enjoy Rodney, the toy car, yesterday premiering. I was actually quite nervous because I didn't understand if I needed to press a button or something just to stay, say start premiere. But no, it automatically did it, my, it, it itself, not myself. So yeah, there it is off the base plate, and now it's got this tape, plastic thing, holding in the doors. So I'm going to take that off. Move the base plate to the side. Oh, this will be an easy job, he said, struggling. Yeah, let's get the old scissors. Screaming the bloody park. It's bloody annoying. Alright, so that's the plastic bit taken off the doors. I don't know why they do that. And here's the whole car. It's a spring practically the same as the green one, just red, of course. And I do like red. Red's a nice colour for a mini. Red is the only imported colour for a really useful mini, I don't care. So yeah. Uh the features the uh, these diecast minis include, they've got, well, their stickers are, hold on, I need to check, let me check my green model, because they're both exactly the same. Uh, yeah, they're Denmark number plates. So the steering is on the left hand side, so I'll be driving that, no. So, they'll be driving this way. Yeah. They're both practically the same Mini because they've got the same number plates. But uh, what are their features? So, um, we'll go for the red one because that's a new one. Um, if I can even get it properly. On each end, they've got a Mini. They've got the modern Mini uh, logo. Like the Mini Cooper logo with the circle with the Mini in it. And it, uh, let me get some of the point out with uh, the Mini word in it. And like the kind of wing things on the sides of it. That's both on back and front. Number plate. Uh, it's M. Don't know what these are. I, I think they're like logos of some sort. But I don't know what they are. Uh, CO 1969. Haha <laughs> you can laugh now. 69 uh, for back detail uh, the lights well, that's strange they look more they look less um, transparently silver kind of metallic silver on the red one because on my original one they kind of looked a bit pale I know you can't really see it because I've mostly painted it to make it more accurate and oranges dribbled everywhere. I might do the same for this one, but I'm not sure. 
Uh, but they picked up details like the filler cap. I think that's the handle. Yeah, that's the boot handle. I never really understood what this was. I think this might be nighttime, the nighttime light things that go over the number plate. Uh, bumper. The bumpers are. They've done my favourite versions of the bumpers. The ones where they're just a simple line instead of like. Uh, I don't really have an example, do I? Um, oh, no, I think I might have an example. I'll show on this other mini. Where they have got them double bumpers where it's just like, oh, this goes here. And then they've got these silly little bits I don't understand. Are these like springs of some sort? I never really understood them. But yeah, I just prefer the bar bumpers. They're cool. <sighs> I just woke up. I haven't really got to date. Um... Uh, headlights aren't really exactly, like, precisionly placed onto where the headlights are meant to be, because they're, they're not really, um, what's the word, consistent, that's it, because the lines are even meant to be going this way, but the lines on the headlights are going like that way, and sometimes the other way, and then they're all going the wrong way. It's probably different on my... Yeah, it's different on here. Because they don't really glue it in properly. And they just slap them on and expect them to work. Uh, what other features we got? We got opening doors. Now, kind of buyer beware if you keep opening and closing the doors. I think this was just with me. But my green one, the uh, the interior kind of thing on the door. This plastic bit here, that's going to be like represent the side of the door on the inside yeah they don't really glue that in but rather that just keeps falling that can sometimes fall out so just be careful with that but that's okay you can just clip it back on it's not really a big deal but i think it's a bit of a quality control thing well i don't know <laughs> i'm not really an expert on companies and stuff uh other details i can't i'm not really like a hundred percent mini fan but i'm a fan of minis so i can't really t say which date type of minis is based off of it's probably a mix between what they're saying on number 1969 of some sort but with a modern twist for the logo I'm not sure <sighs> I can't really label what type of wheels it uses because I don't really know much about wheels um, the grill is different it's instead of casual minis what can i get for example my custom hot wheels one um they usually kind of like just go flat and then a curve and then it's straight along the sides and that's it but on here it's kind of like straight a curve and then another curve with inwards down here so instead of like it being like that it goes inwards if that makes any sense uh Indicating lights, I think, have been depicted out. There's no opening boot, I boot um, bonnet. I wish there was, to be honest, that'd be nice. But I know on their bigger version, I can't remember what scale it is. Um, it's got opening, uh, more opening features and steering. Uh, I don't know what the silver bit on the bottom of the bumper is. It's not the exhaust because the exhaust is the only silver thing underneath on the chassis. Oh, let me zoom out a bit. Uh, what's on the bottom? Well, they've depicted most of the important details of the Mini. They've got the engine. I think that's the engine. Uh, some other springs and other stuff and frames. Uh, what's on the bottom? Huh. So that's either the scaling mark, I know you can't really see it, but it says 130 scale. And on the bottom it says made in China. <laughs> uh, so that's 130 scale apparently. There's the company name, the Mini Cooper. Uh, I'm going kind of all over the place, but um, yeah. Let me open to the interior. The whole interior isn't really painted. It's just the same moulded black plastic. Uh, seating, steering wheel, interior. Everything's all black in there. There's no leather seats or like maroon leather seats or whatever like I do with my other minis. 
I don't know why, I have a habit for some reason. When I make custom minis, I I never, I, or custom cars in general, I never leave the seats black because I never like black painted cars or black seats because they get hot in the summer and then you're going to burn your bum off on them or they're just really hot and uncomfortable. So I'd rather like any other colour other than black pretty much. Black painted cars are like only the only good winter cars. That's all I could think of because they would absorb a lot of heat and then, yeah. Um, I don't think there really is much for me to say about this, to be honest. Ooh. Um, window windscreen wipers are molded onto the tooling. There's none on the back though. Uh. What else can I point out? It's not really much for me to point out. Uh, it's got rubber tyres. And that's practically almost it. If I'm honest. But yeah. Uh, this is a pointless video. Nobody really cares. Um, oh, another detail I just noticed. Um, on both of them... There's silver frames around the front and rear win windscreen. It's not even fully painted. You can still see red around it. But on the side doors and windows, they just left out. But they have done the silver along here. Along the side of the wheel arches and the bottom of the, of the doors. I mean, they're kind of cool, but I, I don't really... I, I'm not really interested in that. I think the whole body in general is kind of an accurate representation of a normal Mini, in my opinion. If that was scaled down to 164 scale, I think that's the right one. Pretty much Hot Wheels scale, because these Hot Wheels Minis are like a blooming scum of the mini community because their fronts are hideous but it's my job I have to make them actually look appealing so I'd steal a grill off of another mini and then make some headlights I should make like some custom grill mold some custom grills I, I need to take one of them off off of these and I can make a mold and I can press some clay into a clay thingy and then I can make some uh, mold things I don't know Ooh. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Not really much to say about these, except I think these are like a, uh, I'm not really good at reviews and ratings, so uh, I think I'll give these a 8 out of 10. Mostly because they're mini and just because they look nice, but up close they're kind of a bit sloppy like these are more like budget model cars rather than actual good ones because like mine of course I've just said for the millionth time already in this video I've had to paint in my rear lights while they've just left them all red inaccurate stuff uh, they haven't really painted all the window frames so they haven't been consistent with it interior they haven't really bothered with any detail to be honest Although, actually, I just noticed this right now, after ages for only one, I can't really get a light in there, but, um, I'll try to get a light of some sort. Give me a minute. Um... If you could see that, it's got... Detail. Let me do a close up, and then you could see it properly. There's some dials, and there's a logo on the steering wheel, so I could do a proper inter interview. Not interview. Uh, interior look. I would unscrew one of them and actually take a look at the interior, but I can't be bothered to be honest. But yeah, it's actually got some at least painted details at the dashboard. So yeah. I guess let's raise it to a 9 then, that's kind of nice, but the rest of it's still a bit sloppy and it's more of a budget model car than rather a nice premium one.
But then again, I don't really collect model cars, I just collect minis. I mean, come on, I've collected both variants of the mini from the bloody Poundland pullback car range. Where's my red one? There it is. But yeah, that's how... But yeah, uh, not really much to say. 9 out of 10 for these guys, I guess. Uh, this is a bit of a silly review, to be honest. So yeah, um, I'll see you all soon in the next video. Peace out, homies.